The first letter in simple process is S, which stands for setting up the restroom for cleaning. In this step, we'll prepare the restroom for no-touch cleaning. Setup is quick and easy, so let's get started. To begin, we'll wheel the Kyvek to the restroom, placing it in the entrance. Now, flip to the restroom close for cleaning page on the machine's placard and hang it on the rear of the system. Unwrap enough electrical cord to reach the nearest electrical outlet and plug it in, ensuring that the GFCI is lit. Now, enter the restroom and pick up any trash or large debris that may be on the floor and move trash cans outside of the restroom to get them out of the way. Next, flush all urinals and toilets, putting the seats down to prepare them for cleaning. High dusting in the restroom is an optional step in the setup process and can be done periodically or as part of a scheduled maintenance plan. High dusting can be performed with systems equipped with a HEPA filter, including the Kyvac 1250, 1750, 2750, and 2150. If you plan to dust the restroom now, it's a perfect time to do so. Before we begin, it's strongly recommended to wear safety glasses and a dust mask when high dusting a restroom. To begin, remove the blow hose and nozzle from the tote bag. The blow hose has gray cuffs on each end to differentiate it from the vacuum hose. If you should find it confusing to remember which of the two hoses on the Kyvac to use, just look at the cuffs on each hose and remember the phrase, black is for vac, gray is for blow away. Attach the blow hose to the exhaust port on the HEPA filter. If you are using a Kyvac 1750 or 2750, the exhaust port is located at the rear of the system on the bottom of the black box. On the Kyvac 1250 and 2150 models, it's located on the side of the machine. Next, remove the squeegee head from the vacuum one by loosening the locking collar and pulling it out. Then attach the blow hose nozzle to the vacuum one and tighten the collar. Now, disconnect the vacuum inlet hose on the top of the system and turn on the vacuum motor. When high dusting in the restroom, follow the top corner of the wall where it meets the ceiling, dusting the tops of partitions and dispensers along the way. Vents and fans in the restroom are collection points for dust and should be high dusted periodically to keep them clean. When you're finished high dusting, return to the system and turn the vacuum motor off. Remove the blow nozzle from the wand by loosening the collar and pulling the blow nozzle out. Then replace the squeegee head on the vacuum wand and place the wand back onto the system. Now disconnect the blow hose from the exhaust port and place it back in the tote bag. Finally, reattach the vacuum inlet hose. With the restroom all set up, we're ready to move to the next step in the simple process. In the next video module, we'll cover I, which stands for Inject Cleaning Chemicals on Fixtures and Other Surfaces.